Jen and welcome to Pelapalooza part three. I don't know how many of these there are going to be, but here's part three. So today I have um, Kat Von D, Urban Decay, and Coastal Scents. And yeah, let's just get into it. Short disclaimer, as I have with the rest of them, I love palettes. I make no apologies. Part one and part two will be listed below. <laughs> Alrighty then. So I do have both of the Coastal Scents revealed palettes. Um, I have not used either one of them. I got them not that long ago. Actually, the Revealed 2 was um, sent to me by Jackie from Jackie St. Germain. Um, a lot of you may know her, but I will list her check her channel below. And by the way, I'm filming at a way different time than I normally film today, so lighting might be a little bit weird. It's, it's daylight, but it's coming in from strange directions. Um, and then after getting this and swatching some of them with my fingers and being like, hmm, these are pretty nice. When they had a half off sale, I think, I ordered the Revealed 2. So anyway, this is the Revealed 1. And from what I understand, this contains dupes for um, Naked to, Urban, <laughs> Urban Decay Naked and Urban Decay Naked 2. And I can see that. But at any rate, I will be doing four looks, one palettes with both of these at some point. It's on my list. So the revealed and then as well as the revealed two. So what I, I guess I don't know. The revealed two obviously has ones from Naked 3 and then some other kind of rosy randomy shades. This one didn't arrive to me in the best shape, but so I don't have favorite colors in either one of these ones, which is kind of what I've done. If you've missed part one and part two, I've shown the palette and then said what my favorite color was or colors. I don't have that in these yet, but I'm sure that I will when I use them. And I'm sure they'll be kind of taupe. I mean, who are we getting? Okay, so Kat Von D. I have four four palettes from Kat. Kat. Ay, ay, ay. I have four palettes from Kat Von D. I have three in this packaging and then the Monarch. So let's just start with the Monarch. Um, again, if I've done a four looks one palette with with these videos, I will list that playlist below for you guys. You can go check check any of those out. But so there are the shades in this one. And I really love this color, this burnt orange color. It's definitely one of my favorites. And probably, well, yeah, I don't know, I think the one right next to it. I, I feel like that's kind of boring, but those are probably my two favorite shades. Really, really nice. I enjoyed using this palette a lot, and I think it made it in my favorites one other time as well. Just very nice palette, very well made. They still available, to my knowledge. I don't think that one was limited edition. I feel like when it first came out, I'm grabbing baby wipes. I feel like when it first came out, people were all crazed about it, thinking it was limited edition, but I really don't think that it is. Okay, so the one that I'm, the one of this style that I'm wearing on my eyes today is the Saint palette. I've talked about this palette a ton. I really like this palette. One of the things I like about it is I can't tell you how much I've used this palette. I've, over and over again, it looks like I've barely touched the shades. They're just, they're re really nice. They blend very well. My favorite shade in this one, I'm going to take, these come with, and, and I think she's just, she's going away with some of these. And as a matter of fact, I think the Saint is one of the one that is either gone away or going away, but it comes with one of her autograph pencils. This is the one in poor, it's black. Let's just go with that. So this shade is what I have all over my lid today. And that is absolutely my favorite shade in the palette. You would think it's the taupe. That's probably my second favorite shade. So that's that one. And then this one right here, I used that beneath my lower lash line today. Those are those shades. My nails are a wreck. My apologies. Just really, really pretty. Gorgeous. I mean, look at that one. I love that. You know, it reminds me kind of of maybe Melon Pigment from MAC. All right, then the next one that I have, and this one I have not used. It came in a kit that I bought at the like the tail end of last year. The same one that the lipstick I talked about not that long ago came in. And this one also comes with the black eyeliner. And did I say it's called Poetic? No, Poetica. And again, I don't think that this is available anymore, and that kit isn't available anymore either. I, I did take a look. And... I don't know that I've used this at all. I don't think that I have. But it's very interesting as far as the shades that are in it. Like I'm kind of, I'd like to pair this bright purple and these, this, that copper together. I just think that'd be pretty. Let's just swatch those. Just for the sake of, 
that's what those look like. These palettes, I, I have the, the quality is very nice. That purple is a little bit not as deep as I thought it would be. Let's do the darker one next to it. So that's the dark one. That's this one right here next to it. I like that better. <laughs> Just saying. All right, and then the last one that I have of these is the Ladybird palette. And that is the palette that is all matte. And this one came with a brown liner. And these are the shades here. And again, I, re I really like this color. I, I remember when I did the four looks on this one thinking, boy, what am I going to do with that? And ending up liking whatever it was that I came up with. I don't remember. But um, I, I, I like this palette because it's matte, but there's also different shades. It's not like the Urban Decay Naked Basics that have kind of, you know, very neutral shades, which is basic. Um, this is just a nice palette. Favorite shade? Hmm. Probably this one or this one. So either that kind of taupe or that deep brown right there. And there those are. Just nice, nice, nice quality. I've not been disappointed with any of the any of the Kat Von D palettes that I've purchased. All right, and on to Urban Decay. <laughs> uh, I have, I do have both of the Naked Basics, the original, which I'm going to open here without, you know, hurting the product. And then the ba the uh, Naked Two Basics. So Naked Two Basics on the bottom, and original on the top. I, I don't know that I have a favorite shade in, in either one of these. They're just really good palettes to go with any of your other palettes. So, for instance, the next one I'll show you here is the Urban Decay Electric palette. And I did that in Electric Challenge with Emily where I used all of these shades for five days. And normally when I do a Four Looks One palette, I only stay within the palette. I don't I don't kind of venture off. I feel like it's cheating. But with this one, clearly, you need some shades to be able to ground the palette. And that's what I did. I did not actually use these when I did that. Totally should have. Um, but that's what I think those, I've talked about this with a couple other people. That's what we feel like those palettes were made to do is to kind of go with other palettes as an addition to other palettes. They're lovely on their own as well. But so... I don't necessarily have um, a favorite shade in both of these. I think they're nice shades. They're a little bit powdery, but they're nice. And, all right. So, the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And, gosh, my favorite shade in this one, I really like Urban, which is that the purple. Probably Urban and Jilted, these two right here. Just really gorgeous. That, that challenge was really a lot of fun. I've had a lot of people say since then that they think it changed me. <laughs> Opened up my mind to color. Those are the shades there. But I, it, I'll i totally talk about that more as you know at the end of the year when I do. Yeah, so I don't necessarily dis disagree with that statement. I think that that challenge, uh, you know, along with some other things, has opened up my eyes. All right. So before I get to the ones that will be obvious, I also have the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. And I really like this palette. Um, I think I just featured it again in a favorites. I can't remember. At any rate, this one comes with the Perversion pencil and just has these gorgeous jewel tones. If I can try to get the pencil out of it. Let's just drop the pencil off. And I love the packaging. I think it's cute. You can... I did do a four looks with this, I believe. You can make it work with these two, kind of using those as blending shades. Um, but this loaded color, ugh, I just love that. That's the green one right there. And let's do Evidence is the blue and I like bar lust as well I really like all these shades and mushroom I mean why not I already have three what's four all right so that's loaded evidence bar lust and mushroom just a really just a nice palette I love jewel tones anyway so you know all right so the last three are of course the urban decay naked palettes this is the original and still by far my favorite if you are you know, everybody's, <laughs> I was going to say, if you're deciding on getting one, you don't know which one to get, get this one for sure. But that's my opinion. With my skin coloring and with my preferences and that sort of thing, you can see that probably of all the palettes in my collection, this one has gotten the most use. By far, hands down. So my favorite shades in this are Toast, or right next to each other, Toasted and Hustle. I have used those probably the most. And Hustle in the pan... 
it has a little more burgundy to it but when you use it on your skin it doesn't have quite so much burgundy but so that's toasted and that is hustle and I have recently actually liked half baked as well let's just that's the gold one I want to try a look I think with that anyway um, that's half baked just really really pretty I this is just such a good staple for me when I just want to grab something and, and create a quick look. I use this all the time. I, I love it. And then um, in that one, when I got mine, it came with the double-ended liner with the black and the whiskey, or the zero and whiskey, which I have used up, I believe. And now I think it comes with a brush. So, Naked 2. And this comes with a double-ended brush, which I don't use. I just don't love their brushes. I don't know. I don't know what my deal is. I just verified so that what I'm about to say is true. Um, Half-Baked is the only shade that is the same in both of those. And this one leans more cool than the original, which is probably why I like the, the, the other one a little bit better. And I find that some of the shades that I like in here just give me kind of crazy fallout. So I really like Chopper, which is, you can see just even from swatching it, it kind of gives me a little bit of crazy fallout. Um, YDK and Busted. Those are probably my favorite shades. So that's Chopper, YDK, and Busted. And like I said, I, I like this palette. It's just not, I just don't like it as much as I like the original. <laughs> and the last one that I have for this installment of Palette Palooza is going to be the Urban Decay Naked 3. And this one also comes with a double-ended brush. So that is that brush. I don't think I showed you the brush on the Naked 2. It comes with kind of a flat shader brush that's really stiff and not a ton of fun to work with. And then a blending brush, kind of like a MAC 222 on that side. And this one has kind of like a MAC 217, but not really. And then again, another kind of lay down brush. And this is all very rosy. I don't love this palette at all. And interestingly enough, no, I can't remember. I think it's my Nooner and Liar are flip-flopped. Everybody else is in the world. Liar is matte and Nooner is not. And you can see mine is. Somebody told me, that I was told that by a lot of people actually when I did the Four Looks One palette. So um, favorite color, probably Factory. I'm going to call it Nooner, but I think it's really Liar. I don't know. Um, yeah, probably those two. And there they are swatched. Boy, I'm, I'm like random swatcher today. Okay, so no, not done. Thought I was. Nope. <laughs> Hello. I just did the Four Looks One palette on this, and this is the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. I do not have one or two, as you can tell by the fact that this is the end of the video. And rather than pick a shade in this, I'm going to pick a row. I love this row. I realize it's the neutral row, but they're a little more cool neutrals, I would say. And I, I don't know. I really like that whole row. And I do really like Vanity and Lucky, these two shades right here. Let's just swatch those. So that's Vanity and Lucky. Delightful. Well, and you know what? There is that other one, Sonic. I really like Sonic. Sonic is this very interesting copper right there. It's not your normal kind of shade of copper. There's a little more maybe kind of red. It's like an antique. I don't know, but it's different, and I like it. There's more pink to it, maybe. I don't know. I really like it. Okay, so that is the, is the end of my Urban Decay palettes. Gracious. Um, and yeah, what is on my face today? I have been neglecting that lately, so my apologies. As I said, I have the um, Kat Von D Saint palette on my eyes. For liner, since I have used up my Chanel, I have broken out actually this Kat Von D. It's this really long. I don't even know where this came. I think I got it in some kind of kit. But it's an Immortal Love. It's brown. <laughs> it's pretty basically what it boils down to. It's brown. And then um, you will see this in my favorites. So sneak peek. Tom Ford Blush and Ravish. I've really been enjoying this. And on my, as a highlight, I have something else I've really been enjoying. My Mary, my, 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 my Mary Luminizer. Good gracious. And for lips, I think that's it. I have Chanel lipstick in Mademoiselle, which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!